Creating a 3D image is a snap. A camera snap, that is. Autodesk recently unveiled two free pieces of software, 123D Catch and 123D Make, that let people create 3D objects from photos and print out cardboard templates. I've taken this, this little garden Buddha, this little garden statue, and I've, I've wandered around it with, with a camera, a uh, point-and-shoot camera, and I've started taking pictures of it. So you just need to select the images that you would like to create a 3D object and you upload them to the cloud. That's where Autodesk's software goes to work, trying to determine the camera angle of each photo and assembling them in the cloud. It creates a 3D model out of all of those images. So what I've received back from, from uh, the cloud, from the 1 to 3D Catch cloud, is, is basically a 3DP file, which is a small reference file that um, contains all the information that I need for the textures to be placed on a 3D wireframe model. So you could send this image to a 3D printer, or make it yourself out of cardboard with 123D Make. We've brought in the model, and we're basically saying we would like to slice this model. And uh, it, it comes up in, in, in slices. The laser cutter cut this out just almost like writing, like, like a, just like a 2D print. This cuts just vectors out of a cardboard. 3D printing is generating a lot of buzz. Bartel says the technology is a disruptor. So I, I can see anything in there from, from an educational purpose of putting, say, a 3D mathematical model in, into 1 to 3D make and then really touch math by making a cardboard model out of it. But not everything can be captured in 3D. If you start taking pictures of a white wall or so, something that doesn't really have textures, then it gets difficult. But for enthusiasts, turning 2D into 3D just got a whole lot more accessible. For Smart Planet, I'm Sumi Das.